I forgot to start the recording. There we go. All right. So we are here doing this, having some fun. Uh, we do got Scout being played by Don Kaiser. Uh, Slither going to be played by Burrow. That was nice. Pharaoh going to be played by Dangerous Dan, the cameraman, as I used to call him. No longer, unfortunately. He's retired. He's moved on to better things. Uh, Farrell being played by WZA. And, oh, that, wait, <laughs> did I just say Pharaoh? That's definitely not Pharaoh. Uh, Valkyrie being played by WZA. And Behemoth being played by DJ. Of course, DJ on Behemoth using a, a new skin that is, well, definitely new. And, of course, Valkyrie using the new Cyborg skin that's there as well. You see an arrow right off the bat to hit Flux coming out to start things up, but no follow-up. Now, both teams made a big point, and we saw the all three games. Behemoth was banned all three games. And uh, for very, very good reason when you think about it. Obviously, that long-range Fissure Stun, very effective in a match like this, in a mid-ward setup, can cause a lot of trap issues, a lot of disorientation, and also some excellent uh, sniping ability. So uh, having Behemoth, they, were, they managed to random him. That is the good news here for our Legion team. Team Diva, on the other hand. Let's look at uh, what Team Diva is dealing with over here. They got Rhapsody being played by the one and only Diva himself. Uh, ooh, nice trap right there in the meantime, actually. Diva in a lot of trouble. There goes the pull, trying to save him out from Flux right there. The grip on a beam in the meantime, but Diva will fall to the ground, melting to the acid coming out from Slither, and a Bloodlust kill coming out for the Legion team. So Behemoth already showing off his true power right there. Excellent lineup by DJ, and a great trap right at this corner. Pew, I'm sure, is pissed off right now. I can actually see his webcam. Unfortunately, I don't have that set up for you guys to see, but, yeah, he's definitely pissed off. Uh, but, yeah, the Fidger's done as expected, causing issues here early on. But as far as the Hellborn team goes, like we said, Devon Rhapsody. Uh, we got Bloodhunter being played by Muffins. It uh, doesn't seem like Bloodhunter <laughs> has honestly uh, too good of use here in, in a mid wars matchup, let alone in the normal game, let's be honest. But hey, uh, played here, picked here, or not pl picked, but random here by Muffins. Electrician going to be played by Xander K. Gemini, that's going to be the interesting one, at least for me, being played by Adager. By the way, Farrell initiates with the Mimo Wall. There goes another finish on once again. Diva goes to the ground. 0-2 start for Diva. I thought he was good at this game. Guess not. Uh, Gemini again being played by Adager. And then we have Pandaruhu actually playing the Flux here for our Hellborn side, a.k.a. Team Diva. So off to a good start, though, is Team Dogkaiser up 2 nothing. I just love what Dogkaiser is doing as well. He's definitely taking advantage of himself playing Scout in this matchup, constantly hiding and uh, making it difficult for the Hellborn team to know where he is at at all times and uh, just waiting for the right moment to open as <laughs> look at that that is hilarious he actually went in a box awesome skin awesome skin all right oh camera freaking out sorry about that we do see finished on though an electrician realizing he's on the wrong side now scout comes in there feral nuke on top of that and the two second arrow coming out to finish off the kill right there actually doc guys are on scout got credit for that kill so Again, this great coordination coming out for the Legion team. Mummy Wall pulled up, and Bloodhunter will also fall right here. Pharaoh will sacrifice this life to do so. So finally, a hero kill coming out for the Hellborn team. But already a 4-1 four, four to one hero kill advantage in favor of our Legion side. You see Diva coming out with a smack talk. I mean, the dude's 1-2, and two and his team's losing. I don't know about that, but it is Diva after all. He is quite the smack talker. Win or lose. Electrician is going to initiate, though, on a scout right here. But again, what a fissure trap coming out. Electrician is completely trapped. He will be able to sneak out, it looks like, and survive. But wow, that was damn close. Nice. Mommy Wall catching Flux. And Flux will fall to the ground. Seems like Pharaoh could actually be pretty useful, too. I mean, those Mummy Walls, if you just get in range, can trap them in and set up some easy kills. Electrician, not too sure what uh, good old community manager Xander K was thinking right there. That was pretty suicidal on his part. Bloodhunter is also going to fall right there. He may get the kill in a slither. Nope. Man and battery for the win, as you'd expect in this game mode. I must say, Team Dockeyes are wow. Quad kill for Pharaoh coming out. Dangerous Dan doing some carry work here early on in this game for Team Dockeyes. Sorry, guys. This is a solo cast, so got to take. I got to drink once in a while, you know. Got to keep hydrated. So my mother told me at least. Gemini, he's definitely an interesting one. You see him dying, by the way, right there. To your chance of being signed. Again, the reason for that, you do not lose gold if you die. If you happen to be a low on life, if you want an item to pick up, you simply just kill yourself, go back to base, and pick that up, and then, of course, eventually come back. So, Right now, though, Team, Team Dockeyes are looking very, very, very good here. Dangerous Dan, 4-1-4. Four, Awesome start. He already has a helmet with the Black Legion. He's going to go in right here. The Mummy Wall will go up. He doesn't trap, though. And Pharaoh actually a lot of trouble. Gemini completely whiffing right there on his stun. 
Uh, he will actually do enough, though, to get the kill on a Pharaoh. In the meantime, Scott getting locked down. A scowl will fall to the ground. Dog Kaiser over committing just a little bit too much. So Team Diva actually uh, making a little bit of a comeback here. Getting some kills out. Another good finisher stun from Behemoth, who, by the way, has that double damage rune, which, of course, he got from up top right here. And you see Scout has that electric eye placed. So uh, has vision on top of the rune. Going to be able to spot it as soon as it spawns every two minutes. We see the signs on a Pharaoh. In the meantime, the static grip also coming out. But Pharaoh doesn't even care. Pharaoh going man up. He says, thank you for the silence buff. I'm going to do more right-click auto attack damage as a result. The mummy wall goes up. Xander can't a lot of trouble. And Electrician will fall to the ground. Now, they did kill Slither in the process. But, yeah, going back to Slither. I mean, once he gets that ultimate, it seems like it's going to be so deadly in a matchup like this. Um, he is not going wards. I'm honestly not too surprised by that. Obviously, uh, that would more so... Probably be feed the other team than if anything. Um, in the case that they would get the bounty. Whoa, Rhapsody right there. We're trying to heal up on the Disco Inferno. Standing still, though, proved to be her downfall, and she gets taken out. Electrician caught in the mummy. Well, watch her at least take out Scout right here. But is it going to be enough? Nice sun's coming out from Scout. May he stay alive? Yes, it looks like he is going to be. And Xander K on the Electrician will fall. Oh, he went back in, but no, he still ends up killing him. And some reaction coming out in the background. Gemini, though, he will also be picked off. And you see Rhapsody going down as well. Fabulous. There's a lot of action in this game. It is mid-wars. I guess that's to be expected. Fourteen to four hero kill advantage already here early on for Team Doc Kaiser. Look at that GPM by the way. Wow. Dangerous Dan. Six hundred gold per minute. Dangerous Dan doing work as expected. Carrying his team right now. You see him uh, also taunting here as he's cancel casting the Wrath of the Pharaoh, of course. And look at that level advantage. Speaking of that, by the way, too. I mean, they're already here some several, four to the five are already level six over here on the Legion side. So having their ultimates compared to level four and fives on the Hellborn side. So that's a huge advantage right now for our Legion team, no doubt. <laughs> and the other thing, too, I mean, Scout, he's going to get his ultimate soon with that Marksman shot. Going to be able to help finish people off with a good finish on as well as the Tormented Souls we see right there. Uh, Panda Ruhu on Flux, he's constantly using that W, also known as Magnetic Surge, uh, to pull his teammates back in. Obviously, that was a patch change that happened maybe a couple of months ago by now. But uh, using it to help his teammates. May need to help right here as Electrician going and balls to the wall, baby. Valkyrie, though, will survive. Turns around Electrician. The ultimate coming out from DJ on Behemoth. And Idiotur ticking down. Two sub poison damage. We'll see the Wrath of Feral use as Blood Ender gets taken out. And Flux dodging in the jungle. Is it going to be enough, though? Feral chasing him down. Has the tournament. It's all in 10 seconds. So not going to come up just yet. And Flux is going to be good for now. Uh oh. Lurking in the shadows. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh, not even necessary. Danger Stan gets a hat trick right there. As he hits the mummy wall at the last second. So good job chasing. Uh, might be in a little bit of trouble though. Obviously scouting that out. Electrician is coming over. Not going to be enough though. What a block though coming out from Behemoth. The arrow not going to hit anyone. But in goes Feral again. He does not care of this Hellborn team. He has a Helm of the Black Legion and Planet Gear. feeling very tanky. And he will pick up the kill on Electrician right there. More action coming out. Bloodhunter dropping quickly. Rhapsody with the ultimate. Trying to save her teammates. Bloodhunter though just went out of range. Unfortunate for him. And now Scout actually in a lot of trouble. Silence is, or Stealth is ready to go, but he was silenced right there. So obviously not able to use it. Behemoth's done up for another four seconds. And it looks like he will actually fall to the ground. So I hope one side getting a couple of kills in here. But it still does remain a 20 win, a hero kill advantage, obviously. In favor of Team Dotkaiser. Getting some revenge here. After losing the series, of course. We're definitely getting a different view on uh, in this game here of uh, obviously with a lot of different heroes as I said the, the whole series was a lot more try hard than maybe even expected but with this being the old random it allows for a lot more fun nothing really on the line and we are seeing you know some different heroes now and seeing what kind of an impact they can actually have in a game mode like this seems like Valkyrie would actually have a pretty solid impact lining up some good arrows uh, could be very very useful for the initiation effects speaking of the arrow it is going to miss right there Onto Flux, and Flux actually able to walk away. But Scout in the back of Marksman shot. One, two, three, boom. There's the headshot right there. Gemini jumps in, though. Will clean up onto, uh, that was actually Valkyrie. And now Scout getting locked up. So a massive dive, though, coming out from a Legion team. We do see Behemoth gets taken out. And now Feral, as tanky as he is, he is in the front lines right now. Trying to run back. Valkyrie physically going to be a nice stun from Gemini coming out. So they're in a lot of trouble. So they're made. Nope. Next reward of revelation. Not going to survive. And Pharaoh looks like he will fall as well. 
Hellborn team takes advantage of a big overextension there. Right there, and you see D.Va once again, the trash talk coming out. He's a 5, 6, and 7 Rhapsody after all. He has all the rights to trash talk right now. Behemoth using his ultimate, obviously, right there, helping to turn that around. Speaking of items, actually, focusing on Feral. Feral, just, his items just get bigger and better again. Look at that GPM, 782 gold point. What a wrath to the Feral going in right there. Will catch Rhapsody, and Diva will go to the ground. Excellent snap on there. Probably this tower below Half-Life right now. That will put Team Dark Eyes in a good spot to possibly take it out in the very near future. Two seconds an arrow on to Bloodhunter in the meantime. As he looks like me, and nope, will not get away. The finish on just in range. Two health finish him off. Valkyrie, on the other hand, is going to barely survive. Because <coughs> that's just what he does. Items up. Going back to that, Brutalizer has been picked up on Scout, as we see here. Uh, looks like Slither's actually going for an Assassin Trail. A little bit different there, but again, having some fun. Pharaoh. Pharaoh is a boss, to say the least. Barbed Armor now as well as the Shaman's Head. Just played a Greaves in Helm of the Black Legion. Uh, you got Valkyrie actually just finishing an old fire blade right there. And, uh, and Behemoth, of course, Gnome's Wisdom picked up on top of the Ring of Sorcery. Choosing not to go with the Portal Key. He does have enough gold for it now. I wonder if that's actually going to be an item of choice for him, or maybe he just figures because that they're constantly all cl uh, clumped up in this mid lane, may not need it for the initiation purpose, but it still seems like it would be pretty damn useful, so wouldn't be surprised to see it on him nonetheless. But the Onslaught continues in favor of our Legion team right now. It's going to divide himself once again. Codex has been picked up on Rhapsody. As we see right here, level 2. And again, with that Arcane Him, uh, that can prove to be a very powerful tool throughout this game. Oh my god, Scout is so low right here. Looks like he is going to be able to stealth away, though. Will he actually get away? Oh, 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 the tower! What? Oh no, the tower missed right there. And actually, Scout is going to be fine for now. You see Rhapsody coming around. Oh, adding it's all to injury. Is Scout going to go balls to the wall? Yes, he is. He takes out Rhapsody. However, he may now die as a result of that. Oh, yes, he will. Gemini comes in with a fire breath to clean him up right there. So, Oh, Pharaoh now actually in a lot of trouble. Oh, nice dodge on the stun, but he will go down. Behemoth. Behemoth, no ultimate. That is unfortunate. That was a huge chance for an ultimate right there. He will get the finish done on to Gemini before he suicides right there into the Transmutantstein pit. Looks like that's going to be that. But more and more items, by the way, keep being picked up here. So I want to keep focusing on that. In fact, screw it. I'm just going to keep that tab open. No point to not have it open, especially in a mode like this. What do we got? Gemini charged hammer picked up. Interesting. Uh, other than that, really not a whole lot here on the cell side. We already mentioned that codex on Rhapsody, of course. Ooh, Feral once again uh, does activate that barbed armor, but Wolf Oma, there's that ultimate from Behemoth. The stomp on top of that. And yes, they're going to take out Bloodhunter. We also see Gemini, Gemini will fall. And Electrician, you stuck in there a little bit too long, buddy. He will go down as well. Whew. This game, man. I can only imagine having having this be like the actual competitive scene. <laughs> having Mid Wars be the new competitive scene for Heroes of New Earth and casting it. No. <laughs> that, way, that would not last too long. But it is definitely still fun on the last being a spectator of. And hell, I want to play, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely jealous of everyone playing as I know people tuning in, so I guess for you guys as well, you're kind of in my shoes. Uh, we're, here we are spectating this. I want to play it, but it is coming out next Friday, soon enough. It will be in our hands to enjoy with Heroes of New Earth. Ooh, the arrow right there. Yeah, I mean, Zuri is kind of right. That, that arrow does look a little bit funky. <laughs> it, is a, it is definitely different than the usual javelin that we're used to seeing. I guess it's more of like a pike it's really carrying around. Uh, going to throw it right here. Nice wraps to the ultimate, though, and that will help save Blunder. What a mommy wall, though. And that's going to be a lot of ma I don't even know what's going on. I mean, I, I'm just looking at the life bars right now, and it seems like the Hellborn team is actually doing pretty well, but... Nope, oh, Legion team just a little bit better. Gemini falls. See Flux and Electrician, though, still well alive. Pharaoh, by the way, he is uh, looking to finish that Hellflower soon. Ooh, nice five second arrow. No fire level 2, by the way, picked up. Gonna use it right there at a slow, but with that ultimate on from Blood Hunter, not necessarily uh, gonna work out too well. 
I don't know. It looks like Team Diva actually making a bit of a comeback here. So Team Doc Kaiser was really, really big push early on in this game, but I must say, all right, look at the hero kills now. I'm looking at experience for that matter. Wow, 6,800 experience lead for a Hellborn team. So although the gold is in the Legion's favor, the experience in the Hellborn's favor. Nice arrow dodge right there, by the way. This game is actually turning out to be uh, pretty damn close between the two. I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't lie to you guys. I wouldn't do that. I keep doing that. It's so havoc, guys. Sorry, I, I keep zooming back in. I, 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 for this mode, it is probably a good idea to just keep it zoomed out all the time, but it's habit to constantly zoom it back in from the normal games, of course. But Behemoth, Behemoth doing work in those mummy walls and will be able to help finish off Gemini. And now they're also going to finish off. Is that a genocide? Wow. A genocide coming out from the Legion team right there. That is rare to see in mid wars, especially with how fast they resurrect. So. Just when I thought Team Diva had a little bit of a chance, Team uh, Team Dog Guys was like, "Nope, not happening." Doombringer, Doombringer has been purchased by Scatter. Look at him jump on the Blood Hunter right there. Tears him a new one. Goes on an electrician, and electrician realizing that's a lot of damage all of a sudden. So uh, Scout is going to start being a beast now with that Doombringer. But of course, the fun thing about a Doombringer, as soon as he dies, which I guarantee you will happen. It'll drop on the ground, and it'll be money <laughs> for whoever can pick it up. He will jump Zedekir right here on Electrician. The ultimate. Nope, might want to cancel that. <coughs> Behemoth comes in. Poison spray going to Oh, the rats of the Feral will catch. <laughs> and Electrician may fall. Nice wraps for the ultimate, actually. Helping to keep him alive. Oh, sorry right there. A little bit of a coffee to do. Oh, Scout. Oh, Scout. As I said, it's probably going to... Oh, what a turnaround! The crit for a thousand right there. The Doombringer's on the ground, though. The Doombringer's on the ground. The Doombringer's on the ground. Feral, the Doombringer's on the ground. Okay, but no, no. Who got it? Who got it? Who got it? Did, what? Oh! Valkyrie got it. She picked it up. Valkyrie picked it up. <laughs> oh, that was something. Uh-oh. We do see a behemoth being chased back. Nice portal key. So there's that portal key, by the way. <laughs> Definitely here in the back, and a lot of cheering, a lot of yelling going on. Obviously, we're in the office, so a lot of amusement, to say the least. Uh oh, scout! No, that's still there. Oh, the codex. Codex doing work. Where is Valkyrie? Valkyrie has that Doomrier. She's sitting in the back, pounding in the right clicks, but she's dying quickly. She was attacking a barbed armor unit, I believe. That's not too uh, too smart. Oh, nice job by Behemoth initiating. Will kill Flux as a result. Hatrick coming up for DJ. Are we going to see a quad kill? Yes, we are. DJ with that quad kill. Doing work on Behemoth right there. Big Behemoth plays indeed. Well, well played. Look at those items. They are adding up. I wonder when we're going to see another Doombringer. If we do. I'm sure we will. We have to with the way this game's going. Ooh, Valkyrie getting the shield break. Is that level 3? Yes, it is. Level 3 shield breaker purchased by Valkyrie. Scout getting locked down once again. And of course, he fall. Of course, he's the one that invested into that Doombringer, so now he's not nearly as beefed up as he could have been. Oh, good Rhapsody Ultimate once again, but Valkyrie starts focusing Rhapsody. He says, take this, biatch, and will take out the one and only Diva right there. Oh, Flux going to pull back in Pharaoh. Ooh, nice catch by Gemini, actually. Added there, well planned out. And a will set up a kill. So he's going back to a case once again. Of uh, Honestly, this uh, <laughs> this is actually getting a little bit more even. Team Doc guys is still an advantage, especially with a Doombringer. But hey, if they kill that, they kill Valkyrie, they get that Doombringer. All of a sudden, the swing sides, I must say. So <laughs> it's kind of funny, but just all oh, the snipe, the Codex to take out Scout. Gotcha, bitch. Pharaoh's gonna get a good moment wall right here. Valkyrie is attacking the Pope Armor again, though. Oh, Valkyrie, gotta be so careful about it. There's a Doombringer. There's a Doombringer. Gemini, get it? Yes, Gemini got it. And here's the turnaround chance for the Hellborn team. So Valkyrie <laughs> once again, WZA attacking the Barb Dharma unit and basically killing himself. Ay ay ay. I might need to teach WZA to play. This guy's trying to set himself up right here. He does have another 3400. Something tells me Doc Kaiser is going to be going for another Doomringer. I wouldn't put it past him. Ooh, Flux in the front lines. Look at, look at Idiger sitting back there. He's like, I got a Doombringer. I can't go in. I need to be careful. 
<laughs> that kind of ruins the point, Adager. Mano mode, where is it? Stop being a ranged hero. You're a melee hero, damn it. There you go. There goes Gemini jumping in. And Gemini doing work in the front grounds. He will get the kill on the Feral. You see Scout snapping him right there. But he's going to start falling back once again. Slither now doing work on Rhapsody. Rhapsody going to start taking the damage from Behemoth. There goes the Frost. Gemini, man, up. Oh, seriously, Adger. There we go. Once again, goes back in. Will kill Slither. Goes out of Behemoth. The look, I'm just tearing him. Absolutely no one. But now Gemini. Oh, Gemini, why did you man up? You're in a lot of trouble now. Scout actually turning on him. Scout, Scout, buddy, will not get it. That's why you manned up. Sorry for just uh, not thinking you could do it. Yeah, he's hitting hard. <laughs> He is hitting really hard. Doomringer doing work right there. Do we see another Doomringer yet? Somebody's got to have one. <laughs> Scott says, screw it. I'm just going to pick up an Alex and the Malphi. I'm realizing I need to survive now. Speaking of Alex and the Malphi, so does Gemini. But he gets a Doombringer. That's the big difference. Barbed Armor is definitely proving to be a very effective choice here. How's Rhapsody doing? Yeah, she also has that Barbed Armor. She has a Behemoth Star now. Wow. <coughs> 2600 life. Rhapsody. That's entertaining. <coughs> Oof. The arrow just missing right there. Genjiro. Picked up by Slither. Oh, Feral will initiate, and here we go. Uh, Mummy Walls go up, Rhapsody is dropping in the back of their Frostfield plate initiation from Behemoth. He didn't have his ultimate up just yet, though, and that may prove to be deadly. Once again, though, Gemini sitting back, playing very, very passive here. He will go in finally, start tearing people up, but now he's in a little bit of trouble. He will pour it in. As you see, Scout trying to pick him up. The ultimate from Scout, and Scout will take him out. They're tearing on the ground, and Scout will pick it up. Doc Kaiser being the Scout player that we all know and love. Sits in the background, waits for the kill steal opportunity. And snipes him down to get an item back that he bought in the first place. So Doc Kaiser has that Doombringer once again. And now he's the one that is going to be deadly. Smart plays from Scout there. Ooh, Symbol of Rage just finished. How about that? Symbol of Rage just picked up by good old Scout. And so does Gemini for that matter. Thank you. Scout, scout, scout. Oh, he's going to go on to Gemini. But ooh, not a whole lot of damage, actually. Gemini able to tank quite a bit of it. And now Scout realizing maybe that wasn't too smart. Gemini actually turning around. Yes, Dakota comes out. And the Doombringer will fall. And it's back in Gemini's hands once again. How about that? Is there a second Doombringer yet? It doesn't look like it. We're still sitting on that one Doombringer. And Gemini is trying to survive with it. See Fair on the front lines, but again, attacking a barbed armor unit. Very risky. It's going to do get the kill, though. Activates a similar rage. Wow. Shot up in life right there. Nice boy Talisman from Behemoth. Unfortunately, not going to last too long. Team Dog Kaiser. Or Team Diva, excuse me. That's it's definitely uh, looking like the opportunity actually exists now here. Obviously, they're still losing that one tower to none. Ooh, Gemini getting scouted up by a scout, but it turns on the symbol of rage. And Doc Kaiser all of a sudden will fall to the crowd. Uh, just look at that. If, you're, if you cannot CC him down, he will just turn around and tear you up. Great job by Eidre here, showing his right-click skills at its best, at its finest. He's going to jump in. The Flux pulling, and here we go. Slither's going to run away in the background. Valkyrie in the background as well. But what a Rhapsody ultimate helping to keep his teammates alive. And you see Gemini doing a war. Comes back in, and Will Taylor are both Pharaoh and Valkyrie going all the way to the tower now. And look at the damage on that tower. Gemini hitting it so hard. 522 maximum damage coming out from him right there. And they're also going to get the secondary tower. Wow, Behemoth's going to jump in, hope for the best, but that's going to fall quickly. Unless they have invulnerability. Ooh, nice codex. Gemini wants to be careful right here, not to be on that side of the fissure stun, so. Going to play it passive. Oh, Scout wants him dead, though. That's Slither, actually. Yeah, but again, the symbol of rage is just ridiculous, especially with those twin strikes. God, he just heals up so fast. Again, Scout may try for, but it, he's, he's just got a behemoth start. I mean, good luck. <laughs> he 
He's going to be sitting on... Uh, I like how he got his ultimate, yet he hasn't used it once. <laughs> Seems kind of... I mean, he's 20 faster, he has to. So I, don't, I wasn't paying attention to that. I wonder if he actually went stats before that. But anyways, um, he got the PMSR now. 3,400 life on this Gemini here. Uh oh Rhapsody. Rhapsody, you're probably dead. Nope, never mind, you're not. You will survive. Oh, Gemini died! The Tomb Raider picking up somebody! Who got it? Did Valkyrie get it? Okay, Valkyrie got it. Yes, Flux was trying to get him, but Valkyrie got it instead. And once again, back in a Team Dockheiser's favor, I guess. Now, remember last time, WCA uh, did kill himself attacking a barbed armor unit, so. <laughs> With that Tomb Raider, once again, we'll need to be careful for that. As we see right there, for that matter, but he's going to be fine for now. Wow, they killed that fast. Okay, so double damage and haste. About oh no, the two bigger. His button are going to get it. Nope, nope, they're trying to. So they will pick it up. Okay. <laughs> Good snipe from Muffins right there. I see uh, Feral jumping in. Oh, nice reaction from Behemoth coming out. Did we drop again? Yes, I did. Now Flux has it. <laughs> this Doombringer has been passed around quite a bit. It's pretty hilarious. Things finally quite quieting down. Both of those secondary towers up. You see this one very, very low. Okay, so explaining what you actually get from him. Oh, nice pro initiation right there. The mummy walls go up. It's Flux. How's Flux doing? Flux is in the background with the Doombringer. Doing damage. Needs to be a little bit careful. Starting to take some, but no, nope, he's he's a boss. Valkyrie's trying to take him out. I don't think it's going to happen, though. Oh, there we go. Nope, oh, there we go. Gemini picked it up, it looks like. So Gemini has it once again. He's going to port back. Oof. The arrow. Ooh. But he still may die here. Yep, he is going to die. Doombringer once again. Sell something. Get it, pick it up. Okay, good. <laughs> I don't know what he sold, actually, but... Back on Scout. How has there only been one Doomringer? Come on, guys. There has to be more Doomringers. Harkon's, by the way, on Rhapsody. That's pretty sweet. Not going to be too useful here, though. She will end up dying. Kiss my ass. Is that GPM working? 1,053 GPM on Danger Stand. No big deal. Welcome to Mid Wars, ladies and gentlemen. Missing the most epic fights of the uh, of the match. Don't worry. I'm trying to get him to bring his Skype on, so because <laughs> he's here, the communication and the cheers going on over there. Turn on. There you go. The mic's on, but I, I don't have any volume going through. Let's take a listen in. Uh, and I think we fed both of them. It's <laughs> <laughs> not good. Do 
the two Doom Warriors now. Dude, dude, the Doombringer! The Rhapsody has the Doombringer! Rhapsody has the Doombringer, guys, come on! Stop going for the other people! <laughs> Rhapsody doesn't have a Doombringer, it's Or, oh, it's a freaking Harkon! <laughs> Stop! Break with a Harkon! <laughs> <laughs> no, our comes too bigger. Champion of Newark. How is there a tuber? Okay, it's fine. Absolute bliss. No, 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 come on. No, 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 no. Boo, backdooring. Boo, oh. Alright guys, that is uh back here. That is gonna do it for today. So obviously having some fun here. So that was Mid Wars guys. That was Mid Wars there. Again, coming out next Friday, definitely look forward to it. Gonna be a lot of fun. We as we genuinely love it here in the office. I mean you can tell from that emotion right there. It's it's awesome. Um it's it's gonna be a lot of fun and Check it out coming up Friday, guys. Hopefully you were you, were, you had some fun today, you entertained by today, and uh, got you excited for the Mid Wars map slash game mode that is going to be coming out. That is going to wrap it up though for our coverage today. So hopefully you've enjoyed that. Again, next Friday, guys, it will be happening. So thanks for tuning in. I was breaking CPK. I was joined by Zero earlier. Big shout out to the two G captains, especially Team Doc Kaiser and Team Diva. S2 games as a whole, obviously, without, the, I mean, making this awesome game in the first place, giving us opportunities like this uh, to experience it. So, um, that's going to do it. Again, as far as Honcast goes, tomorrow night, the North American day number four Dream Haunt event will continue. So, definitely tune into that for competitive. But that is going to do it, guys. So, thanks for tuning in. Have a good night. See you next time.